Why, order. why? I apologise to the leader. Now, look, I say to the National Front Bench, I've asked the Honourable Leader of the Opposition to ask his question. It should be possible to hear it. I'm sure the Prime Minister wants to hear it. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Why hasn't National learnt the lessons of uh, history and the failures of past privatisation as the last Labor government did, which sold no assets, knowing that the sale of some assets, like New Zealand Rail, led to asset stripping, others, like Air New Zealand, led to a previously successful business being run into bankruptcy, and the sale by National of the BNZ for a mere $1.5 billion has resulted in $12.5 billion worth of dividends flowing out of this country. Why hasn't he learnt those lessons? The right honourable Prime Speaker, Minister. I actually think the Leader of the Opposition asked a good question, and that is, actually, this government has learnt those lessons. That's exactly why there will be majority ownership held by the government. That's exactly why Kiwi mums and dads will be at the front of the queue. But I say this to the Leader of the Opposition in all sincerity. The investment portfolios around New Zealand have changed. Back in the 19, late 80s and 90s, there wasn't 1.7 million KiwiSaver accounts. There weren't Crown financial institutions. Those entities are actually not in the form there is today. Look, not in the form there is today, and what they are looking for is genuine investments in New Zealand companies. Well, what they're not looking for, Trevor, is a capital gains tax on everything they may ever own. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Order. Has he and his government, Order. Speaker, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Has he and his government been advised by Treasury and other officials that the cost of the taxpayer of actually selling these assets could be between 2 and 9 per cent of their value? which, if you take the midpoint of those figures, mean that he'll be spending $340 million worth of taxpayers' money just to flog off the assets to foreign corporates. The right Mr. Speaker, uh, no. Uh, what we have actually been advised by Treasury is that the average cost of an IPO is around about 7 per cent. In the United States, it's 3 to 4 per cent. In fact, uh, when Contact Energy was sold off, I think it was about 1.8 per cent. Uh, and that's exactly what we're working towards. And the member knows that because, in fact, that advice was presented to his office some months ago when he was Point away. Point of order, the Honourable Leader of the Mr. Opposition. Speaker, I seek leave of the House to table a letter to the Minister of Finance from the Crown Ownership Monitoring Unit dated the 17th of May 2011 that says in New Zealand large IPOs in recent years have cost around 2 to 9 per cent, the figure I quoted. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection.